This is lunch, but it's also pig food and tea. Once the tea boils, I'll make the tea and then I will move my oil. I'm making uh, fried potatoes. We have one on a skillet with just a little bit of lard and then we have some that's going to be a deep fat. And I haven't cooked with the deep fat on the wood burning stove yet, so it's, that's kind of just a trial and error thing. I want to see if it can get up to heat on the wood burning stove without baking us out. And I haven't increased the heat on the stove at all uh, from what is just comfortable room temperature. And then our gravy that was um, baking with arrowroot powder, it's already ready. And I have the potatoes all cut up and ready to go. I'll stir the gravy. And we've got, no, because it's too hot over here. We've got the uh, cream separator drying over here on the side. I like to make sure it's really nice and dry before I put it up. And then two quarts of buttermilk from the butter that I just made that I added a culture to so that it'll be yogurt. So far I have to be really careful that my heat is really high enough before I add the food. As long as I wait for it to heat up so it's barely starting to smoke, the pan is starting to smoke, then I know that it's hot enough to add the food. And then it cooks thoroughly and it cooks well, but if I if I don't wait long enough to add the food, it has a tendency to just kind of get soggy. So that seems to be the trick. Let the pan heat up thoroughly before you add any food. It's like cooking on a slow heat on an electric stove. And the reason that I switched so completely over to the wood range, because we were still doing roast and stuff in, in the wood burning stove, uh, the reason I switched over completely is because my electric range is driving me crazy. It's heating up and cooling down, heating up and cooling down. And it was the cheapest model that they had when they put the appliances in the house, which is, you know, understandable, but it's driving me crazy. So the heat from the wood stove is consistent. I have to do something in order for it to get higher. And all I have to do is move the pot to a different part of the stove if I want it to be cooler. So it, it works really well. It's really consistent heat. And now this is the third year that we've had it. And I'm finally figuring out how to cook on the range without us being hot. Because last year when I tried to cook on it, I would heat it up really, really hot because I was used to the electric stove. And I didn't understand that you just have to leave the pan on there for a little while and it'll heat up just fine. It's just that you have to be patient. A meal really does take a little longer on the wood range. Or I guess it doesn't take longer. You just have to, you have to think about it a little longer. It's like cooking anything from scratch. It just takes a little, a little bit of, a little bit more thought. Okay, so that oil is not quite ready because it's not sizzling when I add food. So you just have to wait. Well, you just have to think about it. You have to, you have to be where you're going to cook with it so that you can get your pots on, your pans on. Huh. I wish I could help. I know, but I've got really hot oil here, and I really don't want you to get burned. So I'll be watching for when it starts smoking the pan that. Well, it sounds like the tea's just about ready. Yeah. Should I bring over your... Yeah, we can show you trying to get the tea done. Yeah. But I need hot pads every time. Because... That's fine. Because I... I'm Don't think it. Don't think it. There you go. Because I'm afraid that it'll burn me. If it tips. Because the handle slides real good. Well, easy. Easy then. You're my little tea maker, huh? Yeah. I'm good at making our own tea. Mm -hmm. Fruit tea. Be careful about your hot pads on the stove. I prefer to keep the handle over the edge, but sometimes I don't have enough space 
in all in the area that, I, that is actually really warm. If I don't have enough space there, then oh, find it. Okay, I'm going to move it to the edge. So just be patient for a second. Okay, so stand back while I'm moving all the panels. to a spot where you can get it. There you go. I'm worried I'm fit. You can get it. I'm waiting because it hasn't... It did. It boiled. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So flip it up. There you go. You being careful? Yeah. It heats up the jar real good. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. If you decide you want help, let me help you, okay? I don't want it spilling on you. I'm, I'm too careful, Mom. Are you too careful? Yeah. Okay. It concerns me a little how much you lean on that jar. Okay, go put that over on the electric stove and put up your hot pads. Good job. The expedition has the trailer on it. We could unhitch it. Right? And the expedition costs a lot of gas to use. Sure. We could use the pickup truck. Can we? Well, the pickup is not registered. Mm -hmm. Well, one time when we were going to go, we were talking when we went in. Huh? 